like is you having a, a game at the end of the, of the week? Do you focus on different things here uh, with the game coming up? Yeah, well, we have to handle things a little bit different just in terms of who's getting all the reps in the game. Um, so, we, one, we have to make sure that those guys are prepared, but then we have to, in practice, the guys that aren't going to play as much, you know, make sure that we um, get them work so they don't have, like, you know, four days off or, or you know, that, that kind of deal. Is, I think it's important with the balance there. Have you guys decided what you're going to do in terms of quarterback uh, snaps on first and second team snaps? So. Yeah, we're we're going to talk about it here today and tomorrow. Uh, we want to see, you know, continue to let these guys compete out here in practice, and today's one, today's one of those days, so we have not made a decision there yet. I'm sure you talk to guys around the league. What do you anticipate the three games? I mean, are people basically dropping game four when you look at the preseason, three versus four? Uh, I, I think the important thing is to understand your team. So I think a lot of teams are going to do it, you know, many different ways. To, you know, do I have a veteran team? Do I have a young team? Um, you know, are you, who, who am I trying to get ready? Those players. So I think you'll see a variety of different ways used in, in you know, for those situations. Coach, I know you're not seeing every offensive line throw out there, but uh, your evaluation of Cam Robinson and has Walker done a lot to push Cam and make him better? Well, I think all the guys that we have are competing. Um, as far as, as Cam and Walker, um, Cam's really done a nice job. I think he's come, he's come in and you know taking care of his business. You know, we have a young rookie that's there that kind of can keep the pressure on, which I think is good for any of us to to have that um, pressure applied. I, you know, I think Cam Cam has, has held on. Uh, we've we've moved Walker a little bit from the left to the right. You know, and that's a, that's a challenge for for any young player as well. Now he's you know now he's back at the left, so we'll just continue to to let him grow. What was it like to have Jimmy Johnson here today? Yeah, I mean, I just got to see him for a second. Um, you know, I spoke to him for a real quick second between a period, and uh, it's going to be cool. I think he's going to, you know, have something for us later today. Daryl, you guys have been down five, six wide receivers. You're bringing in guys off the street. What has your impression been of a guy like Tavon Austin or some of these other guys that have literally been signed and then they're out here catching four or five passes the next day? Yeah, I, you know, I have a lot of respect for some of those guys. The guys that came in after camps have started. Uh, you know, we, we got Jeff Cotton that came in here. You know, we got we got Tevin that came in. I mean, the list, the list is long, like you said, but they, they all, number one, have been in shape, you know, I think, which speaks volume because as you're out um, trying to prepare yourself, you can't really prepare for the intensity that practice is. You know, you can, you can work out and do all those things, but that little oomph, that little extra that you got to go, you can't really apply it. And um, they've, they've come in, they've done a great job. Um, they've all kind of stood out at different moments. You know, Tavon's had a, a nice two days that he's been here. Uh, I think it's... I think it's been good for him that he is a veteran, so he's been in some different offenses. So some of the stuff came a little bit easier for him that he might know. I don't think there's any uh, any specific carryover, but you know, you kind of similar plays. So he's been able to stand out. Following up on John's point about Jimmy Johnson, is there something you bringing these guys in from outside uh, that you hope that the players will take away from it that, that will impact either the way they're approaching things or the way they think about things? Well, I really don't want to speak for coach, so I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I think that's a great question for coach. Um, I could answer it for you, but I think I'm gonna let him speak Maybe for it. In the past, have you seen guys respond to that that you've coached, where you know they bring in somebody, whether it's their position or a coach or whatever, that that has made a difference for them? Oh, for sure. Yeah, I mean, I think it's. The, I think not necessarily just the the play on the field as much as you know preparation, mindset, you know those kind of things that. You're really trying to dive into to you know, you know to get to our young players. As it, but the players level overall understanding your offense, and are you pleased with that level? I am now. I, I mean, you know, there was there was a moment where I thought, it, like I I think I told you, it was starting to stack up on them. We've had a couple of review days here, and and it's been better. Today, you know, today at the end of practice, not quite as good as I would hope it would be, but um, the recall and you know running the things that we're doing, I think they've done a nice job with it. Uh, Trevor's done well. You know, he had. There was two days in there, you know, we, we, we moved him back a little bit and uh, I think he responded. I think it's, you know, like I've told you guys, he's, he's really into it. It's really super important to him. Uh, he's, he's working hard every day. He's, you know, Brian Schottenheimer's doing a hell of a job with him. So uh, he's, he's in good hands that way. Uh, but uh, the last couple days, like the last four, it, um, you know, you can kind of see him continue to make that climb again. Is that, is that just kind of an inevitable, going to happen one day over 17 days of training? Yeah, we don't want them to happen all at once. Right, right. Yeah, um, you know, that, I mean, that's going to happen every now and then. But, I mean, that's, you know, we're preaching, we're coaching against that. And 
I think a lot of times it just comes down to focus. You know, these guys are all professional athletes. They know how to catch the ball, but that focus, you know, not turn your eyes away, the little things to, to make those plays. Joe, how do you balance in the preseason getting reps, much wanted reps against an opponent versus not showing too much in the preseason? Yeah, I think it's a, you know, it's a, it's a good balance that we, we want our guys to be able to be successful. But, you know, we're, you know right now we're at, we're at an advantage, you know, just don't know exactly what we're going to do. And, you know, so we're going to, you know, try to hold that as close as we can. Travis took, uh, couple, Travis took a couple big hits Saturday and Sunday. Um, how have you seen him respond to that and, you know, his progression throughout camp? ATN? Uh, he's done a great job. Yeah, I, you know, I've been impressed with him. He's gotten, he's gotten better and better. You know, you've seen him in the backfield and the things that he can do. Um, you, I think his speech showing up a couple times. So I really like where he's at. Has Laquan given you some really consistent stuff the whole time he's been here? Yeah. Yeah, Laquan's really been impressive as he's been here. I think he's worked his tail off. I mean, with the guys that you know that have been down ahead of him, it's given him a lot of opportunities to be out on the field. Um, and he's 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 making most of the plays that are coming his way. So I like what he's doing. These guys up there, is it harder for somebody who's coming in at that position to take a job when, when you're talking about a group where being in sync is important and all that? Is it harder for other offensive linemen to tap into that and get? Um, I think the most important thing for us is to put the five best guys on the field. And, you know, whoever those five guys are, then those are the guys that, that we need to play. I think we owe it to the whole team to, to do that. And so, um, you know, if, if one of the guys that's not in there now was able to beat out the other guys, then, you know, that guy's going to go.